So addition with fractions, can we add a half and two thirds? Well, yes we can, but not as it looks now. There's a very special rule for adding fractions, and that the number that is on the bottom of the fraction that we call the denominator has to have the same number. And two is not the same as three, and therefore we have to expand our fraction so that we can get a number down here that's the same. What number could we get down here that's the same? Well, if I take this 3 and multiply it by the 2, I would get 6 down here. And if I took this 2 and multiplied it by the 3, by take this 2 and multiply it by the 3, I would also get 6 down there. So if I expand my fraction by multiplying 1 half by 3 on the top and the bottom and 2 thirds by 2 on the top and the bottom, what happens? Well, 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So I've now said that 1 half, the fraction 1 half, is exactly the same as the fraction 3 6. 3 divided by 6 is a half, so we know that that's true. Then we do the same thing with our 2 thirds. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. So now I have the same numbers down here. We have a 6 here and I have a 6 here. Now I can add my fractions. How do I do? Well, the 6 stays exactly the same. That does not move whatsoever. So if I am adding in 6, my answer is going to be in 6. That's the crucial thing of fractions. Do not add 6 and 6 together to give you 12, because then you're doing the wrong thing. The denominator stays the same all the way through the fraction. Then it's pretty easy, because now I look at my top numbers, and now I am supposed to add them. What is 3 plus 4? 7. So my answer to a half plus two thirds is actually seven six. Can I leave it in that form? No. I have a top heavy fraction here. Seven is larger than six. So I have to convert it. How many times does six divide does seven uh, be divided by six? One time, one left over. So seven and one six is exactly the same as one and a sixth. One whole and a sixth. Why is that true? Well, we can think of it as pieces of pizza. If I have a half and two thirds of pizza here um, that I would like to eat, I don't know how much pizza I've got unless I actually convert this half of my pizza into sixths then I know that I've got three sixths of pizzas here and I convert these two thirds of pizzas also into six I have four six here three six and four six added together would give me seven six of pizza that I can be eating which is the same as one whole pizza and a sixth so that's why it works Th same thing with subtraction of fraction then well let's do a half minus two thirds subtraction with fractions. Again, I'm not allowed to do anything with fractions because I have different numbers in my denominator. I have to have the same number. So I can change this to 3 6 minus 4 6. I now have the same denominator just as we did in the last example. So I'm adding or subtracting in 6. The number on the bottom stays the same. Then I say what is 3 take away 4? Well 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So my answer to this fraction subtraction would be, oh, that rhymed, uh, would be minus 1 sixth. Simple. So that's the rule of adding with fractions.